wins. Well, it was just run, and we did not see Michael Cerrone. Well, in this age of COVID protocol, he was taking a PCR test, apparently. The results didn't come back in time for him to get out here on the track to compete. Hmm. So he's been advanced, and Cerrone will now compete in the 1,500 meters coming up in a little bit. All right? There's your COVID story. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now here we are with another nice race here, uh, Kerry. Women's 800-meter run. We've got Ellie Perrier who was the winner at the 1500 meters at last week's Golden Games. Uh, and she is just an amazing athlete. Yeah, she has the fastest 1500 meter time here. It's 358 actually, but she is a 202 800 meter runner. Important to note that uh, as we said at the top of the show, she's either gonna run the 1500 meters or the 5000. So uh, that decision to be made as to what she'll do at the Olympic trials. But again, this is about speed work that'll help both of those races. Yeah, you know, her strength is there. Now turning it over is what she needs. She's been at altitude and you need to sometimes come out of altitude, get your legs under you so you can go, go back home or go back to altitude, get the rest of the work done. But, you know, they wanted to run right around 156 pace. So they're going out hard, or at least the rabbit is. The rabbit is out there, that's yep, for sure. She's going for it, just like they did in the men's 800. And then and they're playing off. But, you know, Brenda Martinez is right there in second. Brenda has a great story. She ran really well in her opener last week. She was just under two minutes, 159, when she ran at Mount Sac. So another, you know, huge story, kind of a devastating story at one of our Olympic trials. And I think 2016, she fell, and the 1,500 came back in the 800. You know, just a lot of things have gone into her career. But here right. we go, 400 meters to go. And Brenda Martinez is back. She's had really an amazing career. We also have Laura Muir of Great Britain, of course, someone we must no 27 year olds one of the best 1500 meter runners in the world stepping down in distance so again a nice clip as they run back on the backstretch now with uh, 300 to go in this race uh, everybody trying to get tuned up with speed as you can see laura muir on the outside with the seven in her hip staying out of trouble there's the experience right there being on the outside and look at that one quick move to take the lead with 200 meters to go. Laura Muir so fast over 800 and 1500 meters. She's a veterinarian. She does a lot off the track, but she has such drive. Look at her come, 150 meters to go. All right, so Laura Muir taking the turn and just look at that focus as she moves up the home straightaway. Everyone behind her trying to find some speed, but Laura Muir of Great Britain and Scotland is in the lead and she is going to win this race by at least seven or eight meters. Nice run by Laura Muir, so focused even to the tape. 158.71, her official time. And Wilson following just behind in 159.68. Tracy, 159.84. Allie Wilson from Atlanta Track Club just missing that Tokyo standard of 159.50. She ran 159.68. And she's having a phenomenal year. Every single race, she's getting better. She's got the long blonde ponytail right there on the inside. Just grinding it out here, trying to get there. You see Allie Perrier starting to struggle a little bit. And you know, what a great race by Allie Wilson. You gotta give it up to her. Every race she's getting better. Adele Tracy, there, number two, you can see her. She's from Great Britain, also running really well, just grinding all the way to the end. And Hannah Green had a great race as well. Yeah, so all these ladies are out here really running with a purpose, trying to get themselves in tip-top shape for their Olympic trials. And of course, we'll see everybody at those games and hopefully ready. Um, one of the things I've always loved, Carrie, and I know you know this, is you see everybody after they compete, um, just the camaraderie, the just the international respect as they share each other, share the moment with everybody, and, and hopefully get themselves uh, ready to, to do their thing. And here's Laura Muir walking over to talk to Andrew Weeding, we hope. They're making their way over. Yeah, and, you know, we talked a lot about Ellie Purrier dropping down. She did break the two-minute barrier. Okay. She ran 159 unofficially but uh it looked like 159.99 maybe <laughs> 59 <laughs> and some change yeah 59 and some change but she's all smiles walking down yeah. but this one right here adele tracy really a happy runner excited to be running as well as she is all right andrew all right well i'm here with our winner laura muir uh Wow, two laps, short and sweet. Would, would you describe an 800 as short and sweet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm used to doing more than 1500, so uh, it's nice to do a bit of a shorter distance and test the speed, and yeah, really happy with it. Yeah, well, and you know, that was quite an elite field. So yeah, take us through, what was, was that the game plan today? Yeah, I was just gonna sit in, practice sort of racing a little bit more tactically, and 
I just felt really strong over the last 200 and I just thought I'd just go for it now and try and hold it. Um, and yeah, I was really pleased. Well, and hold it, you did. Yeah, you're in prime position for this Olympic here. So we're looking forward to seeing what comes next. So, hey, Laura Muir, you're a winner. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, she looks so strong, confident. And that's just one of those things where you leave the track feeling good. You know, Lewis, I love her story. I've been reading about her this past, past week, doing some research, but she's a veterinarian surgeon, I believe. She went through school. They let her go a little bit longer because of her, you know, duty to to Great Britain on the track. And, you know, I think that she has such a, if you guys can read about her, do it, because she talks about how she trains. And sometimes when she's out there working as a vet, she's running after the sheep and she's running after these animals and kind of, it's not her training, but she loves it. And I think when you're happy in life, yeah, and you're running well, and you're also doing something besides the sport, it's so important. Yeah. You know, athletes get so tunnel vision, and if they're yeah. not happy, they're not gonna run well. I think it's the way it should be in life. We've gotta find balance in what we're yeah. doing, right? Exactly? Yeah, for sure. It's like being at a track meet with a DJ. You were finding <laughs> balance today, right? Can we just say <laughs> Janet Jackson needs to come back <laughs> out because we've been jamming to some old Janet tunes, and yeah. it's great. Yeah. I think it's just fun to be back. You know, I've been it in is. a couple events. You've been